The two basketball players suing New Mexico State University in the hazing and sexual assault scandal spoke out for the first time. The two players who are both leaving the school talked about how the experience has left them crushed. News 13's Jessica Baron has the story. Growing up, I've always, I've always wanted to be an Aggie. My dream turned into a nightmare real quick, and I never expected this to happen my freshman year. Emotions ran high during a press conference as Las Cruces native Deuce Benjamin and redshirt freshman Shaq Odunewu spoke publicly for the first time. The two players have filed a lawsuit against NMSU over hazing they say escalated into sexual assault at the hands of three teammates. There's a part of me that hasn't been the same now, and I want people to know that. I've changed. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Come on. Finish it up. Benjamin, whose dad was a star at State in the 90s, says this ordeal has hurt his dreams of becoming a Division I player, but doesn't want to give up. Being able to go through this pain isn't easy. As you can see, but all you can, all you can do is weather the storm. All you can do is weather the storm and stay positive throughout this whole process. Shaq Odunewu said as young players, their only concerns should have been basketball, not their safety. He said he was scared to come forward because he didn't want to destroy other people's careers. You know, it just it just got to a point where I just couldn't bear anymore. And it's just it's just it's just sad that it's just it's just sad that my college my college experience had to go like this. Besides dealing with his own pain, Odunewu says his heart goes out to Benjamin. I really feel bad for Deuce because, you know, this is his hometown. He was born and raised here. You know, you don't, that's not something you expect. You know, his dad is an Aggie legend, and then he comes over here and he has to deal with just, just, just nonsense. He says he doesn't want this incident to define their future. And I hope that me and Deuce will have the strength to move past this and you know, become dominant in weather, in weather in the next path we choose. Jessica Barron, Karakui News 13. The three players accused of the crimes, Kim Akeen, Dr. Bradley, and Deshondre Washington, were all allowed to finish the semester, but they're no longer part of the basketball program. The Attorney General's office will decide if they'll be charged with any crimes.